So sometimes when you get these boxes for review, there's some good gear, some not so good gear, some real winners, some pretty serious losers. Um, in this box, I'm seeing a lot of gear that looks really good to me. So this is the Going Gear EDC Club box. This is at the premium level. Let's take a look inside and see if you like what they sent. All right, so first off, let me show you. They do include a write-up of the gear and they do talk about the value. And I feel like more companies recently have kind of moved away from that. Let me readjust the camera so maybe a little bit less glare. There we go. Um, some companies have moved away from sharing how much the items are. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I think this is great that they actually tell you about that. All right, here's the first product. It's from Giant Mouse. It's called the Ace Nibbler. Tiny little EDC knife. It's got a liner lock there that you can see. Cool looking blade. You got that, if you know, um, uh, what was it called? Giant Mouse? Giant Mouse, yeah. If you know them, this is kind of a standard look for them with their uh, folders as far as the opening hole. Got that paper clip style pocket clip. Runs nice and deep. Looks like you, yeah, you can go on both sides, right or left. Little hole for a lanyard there. Deployment is simple enough. Not a survival knife, not a outdoors hardcore knife, but a great little EDC knife. I like that color. Um, here's what they say about it. So, um, it's what you'd expect from Vox and Anzo Design. It was inspired by the character Nibbles Tuffy Mouse from the cartoon series Tom and Jerry, which I think is pretty cool. Um, two inches long, N690 blade steel, aluminum handles, backspacer manufactured by Reate or R E A T E knives. You can see the back there. I think it's just a slick little EDC knife. You know, if you need just a tiny little blade to cut open boxes, cut open maybe some mail or something like that. So this is valued at 95 bucks right there. So you're basically halfway to what you're paying for the premium club right there. So again, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Nibbler, first item. All right, here's your next knife. This is the Monster Dog with titanium handles valued at 175. This is a cool knife. Look at that thing, just like, Bleh! just chunky. This is from Kubi. So um, I was actually carrying one of their knives this week. If you go back to my uh, Instagram feed and Facebook feed, you'll see that I was EDCing that and a, um, a Wubin um, EDC flashlight. So this says M390 on the side there, as you can see on the back right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. Titanium handles, frame lock, uh, the weight is coming in at 4.8 ounces, overall length of 7.01 inches. They said here in the little, in the little handout, it's CPM uh, 20 CV steel. Now, M390 is different than that, right? Like, so sometimes people use different, different names for the same type of steel, but I'm pretty sure those are different types of steel. I'm no steel expert. I know that steel that I like and I don't like. M390, I don't have a ton of experience with, nor CPM 20 CV but I do know those are high grade, high grade steel. So this again is called the Monster Dog, valued at 175. Look at those, even the thumb studs. Cool, that nice like light blue accent there. There's your little Kubi logo, backspacers, pocket clips, super deep. Looks like, yeah, you can take that either to the right hand or the left hand side. That is a cool looking knife. I look forward to Edie seeing this. Nice and smooth on the opening. Um, Ceramic, uh, cage ceramic ball bearings, it says. It's a great EDC knife, but equally reliable as, you know, somebody who wants something a little bit chunkier. I love that that kind of divot cut out there too. I think that's really slick. So between those two items, you're up over your $200 value right there. So, you know, 175 and then another 100. You're at like, let's say 270, 260, whatever. You're way above 200 right there. So cool knives. I'll show you the other one one more time. There's that one. Two cool knives in this premium box from Going Gear. You do get a little Going Gear sticker here, and then you get a little baggie of swag from um, from Giant Mouse. There's a patch, which is very cool. I'll put that on my patch board. You get a uh, sticker. That's kind of cool. That's a fun one. And another sticker here. Another sticker here. Another sticker here another sticker here and then is this a sticker as well yeah it's a sticker but it's just like a more a different material so those are all within the uh you know you get that all for free or as um as part of this monthly box and then you get a looks like a box of instant coffee from waka coffee and tea quality light roast premium instant coffee made 100 percent from uh arab arabica coffee beans from ethiopia Includes eight single-serve packets to make eight 10-fluid-ounce cups of coffee. 
packed in the US with recycled content. That's cool. So I'm a coffee drinker. I don't know if you are, but um, you get basically eight cups of coffee out of this. So valued at 12 bucks. I mean, just add all the numbers together and you're way over your what you're paying versus the value you're getting. So that's cool. I, I wouldn't, you know, that's not like, a, oh, that's a super high end thing, but you're bringing your value up even more. Let's go back to the knives, which I'm sure everybody's gonna be most interested in. Two very cool looking knives. And uh, like I said, I'm assuming it's M390 for your steel, as opposed to the CPM 20 CV, I think I said before. But either way, two cool knives. Both of these will be seeing time in my pocket as I carry them for everyday carry. I, I really like this one. If this one was, you know, one of the only things included, I'd be really happy, but this one's a bear, man. I really like that guy a lot, so. The wind is definitely kicking up here a lot today, so hopefully uh, you can hear me okay in the video, but let's hear your thoughts on this box. Again, you're paying $199.95, I think, 200 bucks basically, for this box. Definitely just bottom line economics, the value is more, but do you like these products? Would you subscribe to this box? If you do subscribe to the Going Gear uh, EDC Club, what do you think about it? Let's hear your thoughts and your feedback. Um, again, I get these items to review, but I can tell you I definitely, um, I definitely like what we're getting here. Um, not a full review and testing of all these products. The, uh, the, the, um, the giant mouse knife is going to be a simple EDC knife. I think it's going to work just fine. And then the, uh, the Kubi is going to be an EDC knife. Probably definitely able to do more bigger cutting tasks and use it more aggressively. Um, but they're both going to be winners. I can tell you that already. So, um, unless they just fall apart, which I will let you know if that happens, but let's hear your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section now on this, uh, going gear premium EDC club shipment. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.